Hey, all right, everybody, it's me, that chap, in the flat cap, and today I thought I'd do a review of the Cinco wireless microphone. Now, I've been using this for about six weeks, I'd say, six to eight weeks, roughly. Uh, not quite sure of the, the time frame, but it's around about six to eight weeks. But um, this is the Cinco G1T slash G1L, and I'm using the G1T version, which is for Android phones, and the G1L is for Apple phones. So it's uh, you get a receiver which is here. Uh, I'm using this right now. The audio you're hearing is from this receiver, and then on my phone there's a little tiny dongly thing that goes into the USB port of my phone. And and so this is the transmitter. I don't know if I said that the wrong way around last time, but this is the transmitter. That's the receiver on my phone, <laughs> and um, this is powered by an internal battery which you charge up, and the uh, receiver on the phone is powered by the phone. So it's supposed to have a massive long range and uh, other reviews said it, it's pretty good. So um, I've been, used, like I said, I've been using it for six to eight weeks. So let's see if I found anything wrong with it, anything bad for it, is it good value for money? So let's take a look. Okay, I'm up here in the mountain, the sun is setting behind me. Um, so I haven't got long, I, it's getting dark, so I better get on with it. Um, there's nothing around, there shouldn't be any cars coming past, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to start walking this way. I might disappear um, around the corner because it's 150 metres. And obviously when I'm turning away from the camera, um, it should start cutting out. I don't know exactly when it'll start cutting out, but I'll keep talking so that um, you can uh, see when it starts cutting out. And I'll turn around now and again. Look back at the camera, give you a bit of a wave so you can see they're not cheating. Double wave. <laughs> then I'll keep walking again. Um, keep walking down this way. It's a bit cold, it's February, so it's not very warm. And we'll keep walking. We'll do another turn around by here now. Obviously, in normal circumstances, if this is still working, um, you wouldn't go much further than this anyway, right? So if this is working okay, then it's fine. But I'm going to keep going. If I turn around, we'll see if it cuts out. I'm not sure if it's cutting out or not because um, obviously I can't, I don't want to see the footage. But I'll keep walking and then I'll turn around again, give you another wave. Hello. And then I'll keep walking again. Keep walking down here. I peep probably over the other side of the mountain thinking, why is that guy waving to nobody? <laughs> but anyway, I'll turn around again. Can you still see me? So look, I'm quite a distance away now. Give another wave again. I'll keep walking again now. And I won't walk much further than this, but you probably can't hear me. Uh, you probably can't hear me when I turn around now, um, when I'm facing the opposite direction, but I'll give a double wave again. And uh, I'll keep walking again, just to see how far it goes. Uh, just for a laugh, I'll go and see if I can go up the distance. Keep going again, I'll keep going. I'll walk backwards now, because I think that um, the camera will be cutting out, so I'll just walk backwards. I don't know if you can still see me. But uh, you wouldn't go any further than this. So I think that's far enough. I think that's far enough. So um, let's make our way back. If, if this is a line of sight, it shouldn't be cutting out at all. It should be um, very good quality. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the kind of distances it can go. Uh, now I'm standing by here now and there's a bit, little bit of wind around. So maybe this will give you some sort of idea of, I'd say it's a sort of a moderate breeze at the moment. And I got the wind muff on. So uh, there's, there's wind blowing towards me right now. If you can hear me okay, then this wind muff is doing a good job of wind noise as well, because it's quite a bit of breeze coming towards me. It's a cold breeze. It doesn't matter what temperatures. <laughs> it won't make any difference if the temperatures warm or hot I don't think but um, so uh, I'm not quite sure how it would hold up in a heavy breeze but uh, if, it's a, if, the, if the weather's a bit more uh, abrupt in the week I'll go outside and try and see if the uh, I'll try and see if the the wind muff cancels out the, the wind pretty good. I think it does because I've used it a few times outside and it's been a bit windy and everything's been okay. But anyway, that was the distance test. I'll have to review the footage now and see how it went. OK, 
Okay, so there you go. We did have a few minor issues there. There was a couple of cutouts, uh, not too many, but there was one particular one when I was pretty close, uh, for like one word cut out, and I'm not sure if that was the my phone or if it was this device, because I've used it for about six to eight weeks, like I said before, uh, around the house, in the garden, and I've never had any sort of cutout issues. That was the first time I've ever had a, a cutout, and it, it was the first time I've used it in a big, wide, open space, like the mountain. There was nothing around for the signal to bounce off, except for direct sight. So I don't know if that caused any problems or not, um, but as, that is the first issues I've ever had. But saying that, it, it, it was very clear, the mic picks up well, and there was a bit of a breeze, it did, and it did very well on them type of things. But um, I think we, we'd better have a look now at the, the mic itself, and the receiver, and the transmitter, in a bit more closer detail. So in the box you get this little pouch thing to keep the little parts in. Um, it's a bit flimsy, you can see it's starting to come apart already. And then you get the, the device itself, and you can see that on the back it's got a crocodile type clip. Um, I think on the front is just a couple of it's two LED lights, I don't know if you can see them one there and one there. Uh, you've got the mic input there if you want to put an external mic on. It has got its own mic built in, and that's where the wind muff goes on there. This, this wind muff, see that there, and that clips on there. You've got to be careful with the wind muff because if you knock it too hard, the wind muff will come off. It's not a very tight, secure sort of device. It stays on it pretty well, as long as you don't knock it, okay? Um, then you've got the USB input there to charge up the phone. Uh, not the phone, the actual transmitter. Then you've got on-off button there, and I think it is a mute button as well, if you just give it a quick tap, I think it's a mute button. On the other side, you have a reset button at the top, uh, next one down from that is a uh, low cut, so that takes out some of the bass tones. And then the bottom button is a pairing button, which pairs the transmitter to the receiver. This bit here. Then on this bit here, which is the receiver part, uh, you've got the top button there, which is... Uh, so let's check what this is. That's pairing and gain control, the top button there. Then this bottom button here is vocal effects. Now, you can look that up, it's vocal effects, it makes you sound like a robot. Uh, it's a waste of time, really. <laughs> and then on the end there, you've got another USB, so you can charge your phone, you can still charge your phone when this is plugged into your phone, if you know what I mean. And then on the other end there is a headphone, so you can monitor, but obviously, you, you you can't monitor yourself because you're standing, <laughs> you've got this on and you're standing away from your phone. So it's pretty hard to monitor it. But when you do put the headphones in, when you want to use these focal effects, it tells you which one you're using. And I think one of these buttons here as well also changes um, the, 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 you've got three different settings I think for the DB settings. So obviously quieter, louder and louder again. I use mine on the quieter setting. Some people might have to, uh, d on my particular phone, I use it on the quieter setting. You'd have to decide for yourself because every phone is slightly different. And then you get this part here, which is USB-C, and that is designed for Android phones. If I turn this over here, you can see that this part matches up to that part when you slide it in. And I think the only difference between the two is this part, this small part here, is different for the uh, Apple phones. And then you get a USB charger as well. All right then, that's my sort of roundup of this mic. Um, is there anything bad I'd like to say about the mic? Well, first of all, um, the, the gain setting. It's got three different gain settings. Uh, like I said, I used mine on the lower setting on my Samsung phone, um, but, You've got to put the headphones into the receiver to hear if the gain setting is up, up in the middle setting or the higher setting. There's no sort of audible beep or anything. So I'd, I'd prefer if there was a slider, a three position sliding switch on the side, 
so you could know where the game was. Um, uh, and also the the wind muff does come off quite easily if you if you knock it with your hand. Uh, other than that, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I recorded everything on this uh, video with this uh, single microphone. Uh, and it's the one built into the, the device. Uh, so it's pretty good. Well, you can, you can decide for yourself. You can sit, you can listen to the video and think, does it sound good or not? I find it to be pretty good. So what I re recommend it for the price, it's about £80 to buy. Um, so it's on the budget end of things. And I think it's pretty good for, for what it is. Other than them sync issues I had up in the mountain, which I've never had before. So I'm not quite sure what was going on there. Um, so, yes, I'd recommend it. It has got a few small problems. So, is is the Rode one better? Yeah, probably it is. I mean, it's twice the price for a reason, isn't it? Um, so, uh, for the price, I'd say yes. If you're on a budget, this is a pretty good thing for a, for a budget microphone. Anyway, if you like this review or this video, give it a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra!